Bismillah. Okay, let's continue. We are on uh, session number 10, I guess. Uh, we'll try to continue the design of the Megatron on uh, using the Chisel language, uh, using the higher level Chisel language. Uh, anyway, we are trying to see, for instance, the ALU code. Okay, if we, okay, we have multiple parts of code there. Uh, okay. Uh, today we have the AMIU, the class AMIU, extend module. Okay, this is the uh, the memory. Uh, I don't remember the name. The memory access unit or something like this. Anyway, we have uh, uh, what is this? Okay, we will start with this. Import chisel three, blah blah blah. blah. Program counter extends module. And uh, what do you have? You have the inputs. We have uh, the input from the bus. Good. We have the input from the Y. Good. We have the clock. Um, do you need the clock? The resets. We have this input, boolean, boolean. Do you need the clock? Or it's a... Uh... Okay? Yes. It can be generated automatically. Mm. And we have uh, the output on 16 okay and we have uh, this uh, two pl and ph to control to control uh, the axis what you did there is uh, val pc reg so register okay yes and uh, you get uh, uh, ou Okay, okay. Uh, when uh, is reset, you get uh, this is zero, not O. This is zero. Yes, it's uh, zero. Okay. It was zero. It was zero. Okay, very good. Else when. We have this one and this one. You concatenate. Cat is concatenation. I saw that. Yes, uh, concatenation. You concatenate the bus with, uh, and you put on a PC rec. Okay. Okay. Uh, elsewhere. If uh, PL, okay, it's possible to do that. Concatenate. Uh, yes, yes. That's true. The field uh, A to fifteen with the bus. Elsewhere, if you have PH. Yes, yes, uh, even though you have to remember that uh, this part, it's correct, normally would uh, never be executed on our architecture. Normal, normal. Yes, where you have uh, PH activated and PL not activated, it's, it's practically impossible because you have only two cases, the, the near jump, the near jump will use only PL and the far jump will use the two. 
We don't have the case when pH, only pH working, but it's correct, it's correct. It's, uh, you, you took the general, the general implementation, it's correct. But we have just to know that normally we don't have this case, we don't have this case where we use only pH. Okay, overrides, default increment, yes. Default increment. Uh, you, you didn't use the, uh, the clock here. The clock it not, is, uh, was not used here. Sir, uh, clock. When uh, equal one. Where is it? You don't need clock here. You didn't use it here. It is not necessary to use the clock here. That will be generated automatically. Yes, you don't need clock. You don't need clock here. Okay, you just need to verify something. We have. Uh, Uh, we have uh, some counters. We have uh, in this language a structure called counters. Already, yes, this is it. Counter, and you can use the counter directly. Anyway, this is another way to uh, to program. You can use that. You have in the standard library of uh, of Chisel. You have this. Uh, I have this. Uh, what you call a cheat sheet. Cheat sheet. This is a page where you have the most used component of Chisel. You have the counter already defined, like uh, in uh, in uh, like uh, for like uh, components of a standard library. You can use it, of course. You don't need to program it from uh, from scratch. Counter uh, standard. Yes, it's standard in library. In library, in Chisel library, it's a standard component. I will give you this. Uh, uh, two parameter. Uh, you have many flavors, you have many uh, kinds, with two parameters, with the three parameters. One, two, three. Yes, you have. Uh, with one parameters, you have many. You have many kinds of counters here. Anyway, it's not important. It's just to note that uh, I just want that you know that exists already exists. I will give you this uh, document just to uh, help you if you want to see. Where is it? If you want to, if, if you want to use some some. Uh, Components, uh, some uh, some tricks on chisel. Okay. Let's continue. And uh, uh, where was I? It was on the counter. Okay. Okay. Let's so now the program counter main extend. Yes, this is the execution. We have the ALU. Uh, uh, did you try it? Did you try to to work with the the PC counter? Did you use it? Yes, uh, testing. It worked properly. Yes, uh, normally it works. Good. Uh, we have a ALU, ALU uh, opcode on three bits. We have the input. Yes, we have the second input. We have the output. And you forgot two important things. Uh, sorry, one important thing. You, you, you forgot the carry. You will need the carry. If you remember well. We use the carry to. Uh, we talked about that yesterday, I guess. 
you will also need the carry here, the output of the carry on one bit. Uh, let's see the uh, schematics. Yes, we have CO. It's, it's called the CO. You will need the carry because this signal is used by the, uh, the CU to determine if, uh, in comparison, to determine if uh, AC is equal to zero or not. Uh, that's all. We have the carry, we have the seven, bit, seven bit, bits. Sorry. Seven bits is here. Yes. We will get it from the AC. We get from the AC. We, we need those two signals uh, to put on the CU. To put inside the CU to use them. Like uh, to use them in comparison in the uh, branch instruction BCC. They are used on BCC. Okay. Uh, uh, we have load and or XOR add sub STBCC. We have uh, output uh, is equal to zero. Switch opcode. Okay, if it's DL, you get directly the inputs. If uh, it's AND, uh, you do the, the what you call that? This, this is not a logic AND, this is a bitwise AND, yes. You have the OR between uh, the input bus and the uh, AC. You have the XOR, we have the ADD, we have the SUB. And we have, what is this? Stores AC. Yes, we have uh, A and we have uh, the minus. Yes, very good. We have the minus ACC. This operation is used to to uh, to complement. We call that complement to complement the value of AC. And these operations allows uh, allow us allows us. Uh, to determine if uh, AC is equal to zero or not. Okay, seems good. Sir, carry. Carry, yes. Used uh, in uh, PCC. Uh, yes, the carry is used in BCC. Just uh, BCC. Yes, only the BCC. I guess yes, only the BCC. Because the carry, I have to, you have to remember that. Uh, let's let's verify that to be sure. Uh, normally, the carry okay. inside the CU, we have the carry. Yes, it's you, you, you it's used in this multiplexer in the multiplexer to choose uh, which uh, um, uh, comparison is true. Which comparison is yes? It's it's only used with the, the multiplexer. Um, you can hack that. You can change that. You can hack that. Uh, what do I mean by that? You can change this operation. Where is it? You can ch change this one. You can change it. And. Uh, you just uh, compare between uh, A and zero. Uh, you can check if AC, A, is equal to zero. And in this operation, you, you don't actually need, uh, you, you can, okay, what, what you will uh, need to do, you have to uh, left this, like this, don't, show, don't change this. But uh, the carry, you, you don't need to actually use the uh, the addition or the su 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 subtraction because actually inside the uh, inside the uh, the RU. Okay, let's check the RU. The RU. The, the only way to get the carry is uh, from the uh, the plus. Okay, where is the RU? The RU is here. I don't want to use here uh, this one. Okay, let's check the uh, 
Megatron Ali. In Megatron Ali, the only way to get the uh, the Kiri is from uh, ah, it's, it's from here. Yes, uh, normally it's from the addition. Normally it's from the addition. Anyway, anyway, the uh, you can uh, we use the Kiri to check if a is equal to zero or not. You can hack that. What do I mean by hack? You can change that and uh, do a small test in your hardware. In this, in this branch, where is it? In this branch, in this case, in this case, you can add here another instruction to check if a is equal to zero and to put the result on Kelly. Did you understand me? Uh, a equals zero. A is equal to zero. You can uh, the, normally this one will produce the key. Normally, it produce the key. But but uh, by this uh, by this instruction, it's not it's not exactly the the case. This instruction will not uh, produce the key. You have to create the key. And this bit, this output bit, this output uh, wire bit. Uh, should be programmed here, should be added here. Why? You have to add it here to check if A is equal to zero. And this result will represent the carry. Did you understand me? You have to program it by yourself. I have to give you the idea, but you have to do it by yourself. Sir, uh, output. Yes. Output is carry. Carry, okay. yes. You have to add output on one bit called carry. And uh, how to uh, implement it? To implement it, in the case of BCC, in this part, in the case of BCC, you have to check the A if equal, you have to do a test. To test if A, AC, I mean, AC is equal to zero. If such, if it's equal to zero, the carry should output one. Over uh, else, it, uh, it should produce zero. Did you understand me? Yes. Uh, yes. Small yes, it's small test. It's become much more easier, much more easy. It's it's, it's become easier this way. Okay. Yes. Uh, we have the uh, memory uh, address unit, memory address unit. Uh, we have, I don't remember the memory address, we have four inputs, yes. We have uh, the reg, uh, D reg inputs, yes. We have the X, we have the, I have three, sorry, we have three. Three inputs. Three registers. Three registers, yes, yeah, three registers. And we have uh, EL, yes, we have two parts. To part of the address, and we have the output on 16 bits. Yes, very good. Uh, we have a multiplexer here. Yes, you choose to. Uh, yes, very good. Sir, uh, we have uh, two multiplexers. Two multiplexers, yes. And uh, this, this this mux is uh, is like the counter. It, yes, the light counter. Yes, it's uh, it's part of the library. It's a part of the chisel library. Yes, Max. Uh, Max. Yes. Very good. The first output and the second uh, multiplexer. We have zero. Good. Yes. And you Max between. Uh, very good. Very good. Did you test it? It, it seems correct. It seems correct. Yes, uh, I test, uh... yes, it seems correct. It seems correct. We don't need to check it. I don't remember exactly how the AMU uh, works, but uh, it's an easy uh, circuit. It's not uh, difficult. It's, it's an easy circuit. Okay. Uh, that's all. Yes. Uh, yes. The uh, register and the X and X the X counter. Okay.
Uh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Take your time. Okay, we have register X uh, output, yes. We have, uh, we don't need clock to, uh, here too. This is a clock. This is a clock. We don't need the clock here. And we have, uh, uh, ix ix is uh, increment I guess and we have uh, x uh, l input x ah sorry input x input x load x I don't remember that and we have uh, output the output the miu in yes we have the output good this two is one is load and this one is increment i guess i don't remember that okay let's, uh, let's see it again we have the increment this one is not input it's increment okay let's see Let, let's be sure just to uh, to have the right implementation we have the enable uh, we have the load and we have the enable. We have the reset, it's not used. We have the clock, we have the load. Enable, enable means uh, increment. I means increment. Plus one. Add in the plus one. Okay. I have increment two instance of you don't need that you have, you, the two instance in our case uh, of course we knew we need two because we don't have a, a circuit on eight bit in 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 chisel we don't need that you just need one one register one register to take the eight bit you don't need to. You don't need to follow exactly the uh, the, uh, the the our our configuration, our secret configuration. We did that because uh, uh, yes. We need uh, one register. Yes, one on eight bit. Only one register. We use it for two because we don't have. Uh, this is it was a constraint. We don't have uh, on circuit. On circuit uh, one with eight, it was that. It was that the, uh, the initial problem. Control logic for loading. 
updating the register, load the register with the input. We have uh, what? Mm, it should be on one instruction. Elsewhere, where is the uh, when? Okay, when load, you load this. Okay, else when, when uh, CP increment, we don't need a clock, we don't need the clock, it's like the other, we don't need clock to, uh, to implement uh, the, the counter. And uh, you uh, showed me, we have the, uh, already the, the a code for the clock, for the clock on the uh, tutorials, oh sorry. On the counter on tutorials, no, no, no. they don't use the clock. The clock is not used. Sorry, excuse me. Yes? Sorry, I'm going to go to the register. Yes, but I'm going to go to ايه بار ديفو يديرها حنا كي تود حاجه انورمال فهم تستعمل لك الكلوك حاجه هذه نورمال اسمها هذه حاجه عاديه وقول لي قول لي خي ايه انت اخي عندنا عندنا ديجا الكود تاع تاع الكاونتر وعندنا جا في التيتوريال راك شفتو اخي راك نعطيه مره يفز هذاك ايه الكود هذاك ما يستعمل اخي ما يستعملش لوغلوج اسمها بار ديفو في الكتاب ايه في الكتاب ما في الكتاب ما يستعملش الكود تاع الكتاب ما يستعملش ما يستعملش لابلوج نورمالمون من شي فيلم انا وين نلقى في الشيماتيك هذيك وين نلقى لاخر الكلوك نعاود نديرها الكلوك نورمالمون ما تستعملهاش مره يعني سي رارمون سي رارمون ما تستعملها هذه استعمالات خاصه انا فاكر اي دونت ريمبر اكزاكتلي بات اي ثينك يس This is, the, this is the code of a counter on the book. There is no mention of the clock. They are not using the clock. They don't use the clock. But sorry, the, uh, all the implementations of the clock, the, the clock is not used. The clock is used in special cases. In, in special cases, in uh, when you have a special definition to use the clock. Uh, Elsewhere, no, we don't need the clock. You just need this condition. This is input. This is input. Uh, uh, this is input. This is input. Uh, uh, sorry, it's increment. It's not input. This is increment. You have to increment here. Yes, this is it. And. Yes, you have to put uh, to merge that in one register and it become easier to uh, to output uh, the value of uh, the register. Okay. Okay, you need to change that. It's it's not difficult. You, you, it's uh, it's actually simpler. You have, don't have need. You don't need to clock, and uh, you have to use only one register on eight bits, directly on eight bits. Uh, the uh, okay. The uh, uh, you will need at some point to create the overall processor, the overall architecture. Uh, to do that. It's not easy. I told I told you the last time uh, about the uh, the use of uh, oriented programming uh, OOP oriented uh, object programming. Uh, in this case, yeah, what you have, what you need to do, you need to create a big. Uh, Module. It's like the main function of a C program. You have to create a, a big module. You, you, you call it a Megatron, for, for instance. And inside, you will create each element 
like an object. The register are objects, the RU are objects. You, 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 will, you, you will need uh, probably the new uh, operand, for instance, RU, uh, uh, RU uh, equal new RU, etc. Uh, do you understand me? You, you need to create each element like an object. Uh, yes, you, you are defining it like a class here. We define RU, for instance, like a class. But uh, inside the, uh, the Megatron, the Megatron over all the class, you will need to uh, associate it. You will need to create it using a new, like, like, like uh, OPP, uh, sorry, OOP programming, like objects programming. And after that, you will need to do the connections between the the how we how we call that the ports of each element using this. This is the this is the uh, the operator to connect uh, to connect to it's like a bus to connect two different components. For instance, this, this part, the circuit is connected to this one using this connection. You will, you will need to do the same. You have to create, for instance, RU, and you need to connect the RU with, for instance, the RCC. You will put RU here, the object, and the port, and connect it with the AC, with ACC. Sir, uh... Yes. Object name and uh, it's not only the name, the name and the uh, the port. Yes, you you have uh, like like an object. You have the object. You have inside uh, the methods and the uh, how we call that the method and uh, the members. The members. You will need you will you will need to need this operator. The the the, the point is the is the way to access the members. If you remember. Yes. You have to access the members and to connect them with this operator. Uh, I guess you will get one problem. One problem in our architecture is the use of the Z signal. It was used in this bus. Where is it? Uh, this one. This bus. The blue bus. The blue bus. If you remember, it's using the, the Z signal, the three states. To access this bus, you have a four element. You have this one, this one. If you remember, we are using the three states to access this bus. Uh, the three states, the three states, three states buffer. Three states buffer. The three states buffer, uh, I'm not sure, but uh, I think it's not. Uh, implemented in a chisel. You can't use the three state buffer in chisel. Why? Huh? Why? I, I don't know. I, I read that. I read that. You can't use the... Because inside the... Uh, uh, we use the, the Z buffer in, in this our architecture because uh, it's different architecture. It's not a CPU. It's it's not a, an IC, a small IC. Inside the small IC, we don't need the Z buffer. We don't need it, and it it is not implemented. Sure. You will get you will you will get you will get a problem to implement Z. You get uh, I, I I'm putting forward the problems. The problems that you will encounter uh, in the future, you, you, we got a problem here because the Z is not uh, it's not possible to implement it. Uh, this way, this way, you will need to change it to find another way to implement this. To implement this, and it's very easy. It's a bus. It's a way to implement a bus. You can. Change 
the controls we have the controls here that access the bus we have uh, IO here for the memory we have IE enable here we have uh, AE here and uh, I don't remember for the uh, uh, DE here we have we have a four uh, four command to access this bus this uh, tree state but this is uh, the signal bus you have to change that you have to change uh, that by using uh, in my opinion you, you can find other solutions but one of the solutions you should you can use a multiplexer you can use a multiplexer a multiplexer of four one for each for each component for each component and you will need only two commands instead of four to access this uh, this bus did you understand me i don't know you have you have to uh, to face this problem uh, after yes so uh, change uh, control signal mm. maybe we have to change control signal we have to change control signal شوف have to change control signal we 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 have to It's not difficult. It's not a difficult problem. Yes, I guess I guess this is the main idea on how to construct the overall architecture of our architecture. Okay, do you have questions? Sir, uh, les entrées were... Ah, I, I forgot. Input output. Uh, let's talk about the Gigatron. We will start with the Gigatron. Gigatron has a very very simple input output system. The uh, how can I say that? The inconvenience or the uh, the uh, the draw the um, how we call that? The flows of using Gigatron uh, output input is uh, that they are very simple and they are uh, fixed. You can change them. You can ch they are fixed, and you cannot add, for instance, another device. It's it's uh, it's impossible for Gigatron to add another device. In Megatron, we tried to propose another mechanism that allow us to add different kind of devices, different kind of devices. For the Gigatron, the main pro the, the main uh, output here is this register, one register that have only one control, one output control. And this register is mainly used to drive the VGA. This is the VGA. The VGA is the uh, the TV, the TV or the, uh, the screen, the screen. Uh, this this uh, register is used to drive the screen, the VGA. Um, it's only one register. It's not difficult. It's only one register. We have only one output, and you uh, normally need it to uh, to put out the signals of the VGA. And in some cases, the uh, the sound too. The sound, the sound is. Uh, oh, sorry, the sound is in ACC. Sorry, sorry. Uh, the, this is uh, for the VGA. You have the VGA here. This output is 8 bits to be uh, uh, used by uh, the VGA signal signal to to display uh, to display the screen to display the screen. Anyway, I don't want to explain how the VGA works. We don't need it because in Megatron we are not using the VGA. We are using other devices to display. We are using more flexible devices to display the VGA. The main uh, and convenient the main flow the main uh, 
disadvantage of using Gigatron is the fixed side of the input output. They are fixed and you can't change them. You can't change them. This way, this way, we change the outputs and the inputs here. Okay, I will explain the, uh, the input and output are of uh, Gigatron and will and I will try to explain how we change it to uh, integrate uh, different kind of devices. Anyway, we have uh, the uh, what is it? Uh, we have the IC. The IC is also used to output the sound. It's used to output the sound on a four bit, on a four bit using another register, but this one is not controlled by the uh, CU. It's controlled by the H sync signal. This is a VGA signal. The VGA signal is indirectly used to control the sound. It's not important how it works. How it works, it's not the, uh, the idea here. Anyway, this register is also used to produce sound. We don't need to understand exactly how it works. How it works, sorry. Uh, and we have uh, the input. The, the input is used, uh, is uh, implemented using a shifter. We have an 8-bit shifter here, and our input is what we call a controller, a NES controller. A NES, this is what, uh, what is a NES controller. A NES controller is This is the NES controller. This is a game controller and the Gigatron only has one uh, device to uh, in input. It only has one uh, controller input. Uh, that means you can't use, uh, for instance, a keyboard or other devices. It's impossible to do that by following the Gigatron. The Gigatron, the use of Gigatron uh, of uh, the shifter, it's, it is in relation to the implementation of the controller. The controller inside uh, the controller, the, the controller communicates. Uh, uh, by sending the information one by one in serial, in serial. This way, the Gigatron uses a shifter to capture, to handle, to capture the signals they come, the, the, the signals coming from the controller device. Uh, the same here, we don't need to explain, to understand how it works, we will not use it. We will not use a shifter. Ah, sorry, it was used. It was it was added. It was added. We will use the shifter, and we add a way to uh, uh, a way a, a keyboard, a keyboard two. We add a keyboard to Megatron to Megatron. Okay, let's see Megatron. Megatron. We change that. We have, like you can see, we have a keyboard in. And we have the gamepad in. If we look inside, we will find the same. We will find the shifter, the same shifter that you use in Gigatron. Uh, this way, we can use a, a keyboard and the gamepad. The keyboard is also using a shifter. It's also using a shifter. We have two shifters. Anyway, uh, and the output, we have. Uh, uh, two registers. We have uh, an output register that is used uh, like a data to output the data on 8 bit on any device. Uh, generally, the devices use 8 bits um, with to transfer data to uh, exchange data. And we have a second register, this one. This is the most important. This is the uh, Angular difference between the Gigatron and Megatron. 
Megatron, we are using this register. What is this register? This is a configuration register. It's a configuration register. What does that mean? We put some bits here to be used like a configuration signals to input and output devices. Those eight bits are later being used by this unit. It's called input output unit. We have a register to save the uh, configuration data, uh, which is connected to input output unit. And we have an output register. The, these are the three main components of our system, input output system. Uh, each device, is, uh, for instance, here we have a keyboard and we have a, a gamepad, they need to use a signal to activate this input and the signal to enable this input. Each device, uh, each input device needs an activation. This is an activation signal, a way to choose uh, to choose the signal. And we have the, a signal to enable the use of the input. Those signals, we have this one and this one, and we have this, uh, how we call that, this output signal, they are controlled by this one. They are controlled by this, uh, how we call that, this, uh, input output unit they are controlled by this input output unit if we look inside if we look inside we can check that those output are used for multiple devices for multiple devices you can check here for, for instance this part this part represents represents the peripheral control, PC1, peripheral control, each device, whatever the device, each device has many control, many control pins, many control bits, and they are used here. For instance, uh, let's suppose we added we need after that we need a device to display device to display uh, like uh, for instance uh, the small screens uh, a small screen we will uh, try to use a small screen uh, and these those small screens have multiple three or four uh, what we call control bits control bits those control bits are con are used here are used here for instance we add uh, for instance we have our uh, screen here. Uh, our screen here, for instance, will uh, take, for instance, the bit PC5, PT, PC7, PC6, and PC8. Those four bits are, let's suppose, uh, are connected to uh, our screen device. They are control signals. They are, you have to remember that. You have, they are control signals, and this register will put when we are trying to use this device, we we'll put this data, this data here, this data here, and they are transferred and output there. And they are used by our device. Uh, this is the idea. This is the main idea. This is the main idea. We have those uh, peripheral control uh, control bits and they are controlled by this uh, by this command CSE CSE control signal enable when this when uh, this signal is put to one that means uh, we are outputting uh, outputting the control bits we are outputting the, the, those uh, those bits and we have uh, another kind of uh, of signals you have to remember that huh? 
We, let this, uh, we say it again. We have uh, this one, uh, control enable, control enable, control enable or uh, uh, control signal enable. Those are, these are the command signals coming from here. Where is it? It's coming from, uh, where is it? Uh, here, this one. It's used to control the uh, input output. Input output. This is used to uh, if it's it's put to one, it will output the uh, command signals. We have the other ones. We have uh, uh, two parts. We have input enable and output load. We have input enable and output load. And those two commands are taken are taken from Gigatron. Gigatron also use those two signals. Okay, you have to remember them. Uh, they are called the same way. Where are they? They are here. Input. Uh, where are they? Output load and input enable. Those two guys. This one is used on the VGA uh, register, output register, and this one was used on the controller, the NES controller shifter. These two control, these two control, one is used to enter the output on the on the how we call that the the bus on the b bus on the b bus and we have the output uh, the, the the output load is used on the output register it it was used that, uh, here to save the data from the RU here to be to be th thrown out to be put out to be uh, put uh, out. The same is here in our Megatron. We have uh, those two signals, they are the same, but are now are multiplied on four signals, on four signals. That means, for, 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 for instance, for the output, we, we could uh, add the four uh, output register instead of one we have a one here just uh, like an example but you you we can easily add another one here another register one here and use it the output uh, our uh, w2 here three and four we have up to four output we have out to uh, four outputs uh, they are here and of course how they are controlled they are controlled by uh, this one this signal this one should be put to one and of course the code of this register this register uh, we put the corresponding bit to one for the registers that need that the output registers that need to be loaded to be loaded for instance if i need to load this register i will put the bit of uh, this one o w1 the bit uh, normally is the number number five the bit number five this one should be put to one and uh, this signal should be put to one or uh, L should be put to one. This way, this signal will be put to one. This signal will be put to one, and the, uh, this output will get the value from the RU. Will save the value from the RU. This is how the output works. The input is the same. It's actually, it's, it's, it's actually the same idea. If the signal is uh, activated we have four corresponding signals in our example we have two 
we have uh, E1 and E2. E1 and E2. E1 and E2 should be activated inside this register. Their position should be 1 and 2, bit 1 and bit 2 should be activated. And this way they are activated to enable, enable what? Enable the, the output of those two shifter, uh, yes, shifter to access this bus, access the B bus, to access the B bus. Uh, there is something else. PC, we talked about the PC. Uh, what is the difference uh, between uh, those two signals? If we try to understand, uh, try to see the schematics here, we can see, for instance, we have the last uh, four bit, the, the first four bits, for instance, 0, 1, 2, 3. They go uh, to those corresponding positions. Uh, they goes to one to, to positions one one for PCs and for uh, inputs. Okay, let's see that. I don't remember exactly. Okay, let's see them again. We have, for instance, this one is connected to A1, this one to A2, this one to A3, and this one to A4. At the same time, those th same bits that represent the inputs, they are used to represent the PC. Yes, they are used to represent the PC, which PC is activated. Anyway, you, uh, the, the idea is this. You don't need to, uh, to imagine something that doesn't exist. What you, what you need to understand is that you have to implement implement this schematics. The schematics, this this circuit is uh, you can see here. This is a tree state. This is a tree state buffer. You have to implement that on chisel. Uh, the same functionality in chisel and. Uh, Where is it? And they are, where is it? Sorry. I have to implement these internally circuits in Chisel the, the, with the exact same schematics. You have uh, those signals, two signals, one, uh, three signals, sorry, one for the input that control half of the output and you have the, the first half of the output and you have the second one to control the second part of the output, this four bit and you have this one to control both on the control and you have here three state buffers three state buffers to control the Output to control the output to implement that you need to change a tree state buffer with something equivalent, of course, with something equivalent. The circuit inside is very simple. Uh, maybe you don't understand what is this. Those resistors are what we call a pull up resistor. And they are used here just to eliminate the, the Z signal. Uh, I don't know if you understand that the, C, the Z signal can be overridden by 
uh, what we call a weak one. A weak one is uh, output by this kind of resistor. You have, if you don't understand what is a weak one, you have to check the course. They are well explained on my course in this part. I will give you the parts. Uh, combination of circuits, we have this. Uh, the valor Z is on utilization of the bus. You have to check this. You have to check. Uh, what is it? Yes, 12. Part 12 on the course. Okay, let's say, let's look for it. We have uh, it's there. It's there. The la valeur z is solidization only bus. You have to understand that. You have to read that. To read that uh, to understand how Z was used. This is the uh, the resistor we talked about. Okay, till this one. You have the tenth point of the course to understand how you use this one. Anyway, your job is to implement these three state buffers using those, uh, uh, those resistors following this diagram, of course. Following this diagram, we have this output here uh, you have to find uh, I told you about the Z value the Z value cannot be implemented in chisel you have to try to find another way you have to try by yourself to find another way to emulate or simulate something equivalent something equivalent uh, for the output those guys are very simple this is just a register, and those two ones are just what we call a shift register, serial to parallel. They are a shift register, serial to parallel. I think you understand what is a shift register. A shift register, they are defined in uh, the course two, sequential circuits, and they are defined here. And they are defined here. Register, we have two kind. What is it? The, uh, not register, sorry. Uh, shifter, we have two kind. We have what we call a SIPO, serial in, parallel out, and we have a PISO, parallel in, serial out. In our case, we are using a, a, a serial in, parallel out. SIPO, uh, SIPO shifter. You have to implement that. It's not difficult. Uh, by uh, I guess they are already uh, implemented in the library those kind of shifters where are they? I saw them here counter, counter and we have the shifter shift register what is this? left shift register I don't remember, I don't remember Anyway, you have to verify by yourself, or you, you can implement it uh, from scratch. Anyway, you will need, we will need those two shifter. They are a shifter from serial to parallel to implement uh, the gamepad, the same uh, controller that was used on Gigatron, and we will use uh, a keyboard in the same way. We use a keyboard on the same way. Sir, uh, two shifters. Two shifters, yes. One for the keyboard and one for the uh, for the controller for the co game controller. And of course, the other parts, other parts. This one is a register for the output. It's very simple. One register for the output, and we have. Uh, 
a second register uh, what is it sorry a second register uh, the input output control the register and the input output unit uh, in total you will need five components two shifter two register and one unit and one unit Five components. Okay. Five elements. Of course, if you don't understand something, for instance, if you don't understand how this uh, shifter works, it's very easy. You have the uh, the logisim uh, file. You can, for instance, do that. You can, uh, for instance, uh, strike this one, take it away, and try by yourself. Yeah, you have. You can, for instance, put some output here, like this, and you can test. And you can test the, uh, the element. It's not difficult. You will get probably some difficulties to understand how the, uh, the element works. For instance, I can put this. Uh, this is this is the working of the shifter. We have uh, we have uh, one input on one bit. This is serial input, and we have a parallel output. You have to activate uh, this one like this. We have the clock. And we have, <coughs> and we have this load signal, and you can test it. You can test it and see how it works. For instance, this is the output. This is the output. If it's put to one, you have Z. This X means Z in logic. You have Z here. Z means you can't access the bus. But if you want to access the bus, you will put zero. The signal is reversed. We have the clock here, and we have, for instance, if we want to load some elements there. You can see, this is in series, the ones are entering by the clock. Did you understand that? You have to test. You have to test. You have to test if you go get some difficulties. If you get some difficulties on how to understand some elements, you have to test them. You can test them using logic. Okay, I think it's all. We finished the, uh, the description of the old architecture. Do you have questions? Mm -hmm. Register uh, ER or D. Normally, uh, it's simple register. Yes, it's, they are. They are a simple register. They are eight-bit register. You have to create uh, one component. One. Co how we call that in Chisel? You have to create. Uh, anyway, they are simple register. They are simply. They, they are the 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 reg int. I guess. How it was called in Chisel? Reg int. Red. Reg. Reg. Oh, yes. Reg, yes. yes. The way to do it, you have just to, to initiate a register to implement any register you want. It's a simple register. The, uh, you will probably, probably need the in some situations, in this one, for instance, D register, D register has uh, the the uh, has uh, a Z has a Z value, D E for instance, D E if it's uh, put to 
zero or one, we put the output the z value. But in your implementation, you will you, you don't use the z. Understand? You have to replace it with a multiplexer. Then you will not uh, have to uh, your register to output the z value. Did you understand me? Register, yes. What is it? Register IR. Yes, a bundle. We have one input, one output. And we have, uh, what is this? A load, yes. A load. Yes. Yes, this is it. This is it. This is very simple. This is very simple. This is the way to implement a register. The way to implement a register. Uh, do you have other questions? Normally, it's clear. Okay, if you have... Uh, yes, if you have uh, special questions, uh, you can uh, contact me. I have no problem. If you, you can contact me by email or uh, on, uh, on the compass, the university, whatever you want, whatever you want. Okay, we will stop here. Thank you very much. Shukran jazeelan. Thank you, sir. Barakallahu feek. Rabbi kum fil'un, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Amin, inshallah. Aish kassalam. Aish kassalam. Assalamu alaikum.